Hey everybody, Volcanic Knight here. First, I just want to apologize for the audio quality um, because this is not my normal standard. I just wanted to bring you a video so you guys can see how I edit my miniatures because I know this was a question that came up earlier in December. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Nerdarchy's new Kickstarter, Mage Forge, where you can get 250 tarot card sized magic items. If you're having issues handing out loot or need some new funky ideas, check out this Kickstarter. But without further ado, let's begin the video. So first we want to begin by adding the background image. Let it fall wherever it may. Hit enter. Then we're going to drag the actual miniature itself onto the layer and it should fall exactly on top. Hit enter. The last thing we're going to do is merge the layers together so it becomes one singular miniature. Now let's say we want to make copies here. Hold down your alt key on your keyboard, click on the image and actually drag it. You're going to make multiple copies. So let's say you want to heavily modify your miniature. Like for example, let's give him two swords. First thing you want to do is drop your background image. I highly recommend zooming in just for precision's sake. We then want to start actually deleting some of the background image. The part with the shield exists. After you're done deleting, what you want to do now is make a copy of this background. It should be created as a new layer. This will now give us two background images with a sword on top of each other. Do a horizontal flip. Now let's merge these together to make one singular background. Now that we have our background, what we're gonna want to do now is drop the miniature to edit. In this particular example, it doesn't fall exactly where it should, but that's okay. We're just gonna line it up so it falls on top of each other. Just to keep your sanity, let's mark the background as not visible. Just like deleting the background image, what we're gonna do now is delete the shield portion from the front facing and the back facing. After we're done that, we're gonna use the magnetic lasso tool and then highlight the sword portion that we're going to want. Now what I'm doing now is highlighting from the arm section all the way across the image. After it's all highlighted, you're going to want to make sure the starting point is selected so everything is selected. Right click inside of the outline and then click on copy as a new layer. You may notice off to the side that a new layer is now created specifically with the sword on top of it. Now we want to make sure that layer is selected and do another horizontal flip. We're going to repeat these steps for the top section as well. Now for the top portion here, everything wasn't deleted properly, so I'm just going to zoom in and clean it up. Now that your miniature is all done, let's make the background visible. Then you're going to merge everything together and make as many copies as desired. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. I sincerely hope this helped you guys out and until again, catch you all later.